Archaeological excavations conducted by the Israeli Authority for Antiquities in the city of Yavne, south from Tel Aviv, brought to light an enormous wine factory dated back to the 5th century AD. It is considered the biggest in the world of that period. Here there was a factory consisting of five large presses with trampled floors in the middle. This was surrounded by rooms for fermenting wine and warehouses for storing it. Among the many rooms there were four big warehouses used for the aging of wine which was made in long jars, some of which have been found completely preserved. These were made in big furnaces present in the place. The wine of Yavne was famous for its great quality. It was not only marketed in Yavne, but also in the Mediterranean basin and in Europe through the ports of Gaza and Ashkelon. This fine wine was brought from Gaza and Ashkelon to the table of Justin II on the day of his coronation in Byzantium. It was described as white as snow. We know that the wine that was produced in the region of Palestine and also in Yavne was white wine. The production capacity of this winery reached 2 million litres per year. Dr. Haddad then pointed out that this quantity is to be considered as huge even nowadays if we consider the whole process was done manually. Drinking wine in ancient times was very common. It could be added to water in order to change its taste or substituted to water because at those times it did not taste good. This company focused not only on the quality of its production but also on the ornamental aspect of the structure. We found here in the cellars holes in the ceilings which were engraved in the shape of a shell. We archaeologists jokingly say that the cellars with the shell-shaped holes practically constituted the visitor center of that period. So when you got there, you could taste the wine. Sort of the main office or visitor center for the site.